Welcome back, everybody. A new year is a great time to create new habits, including ones that make less of an impact on the planet. And our next guest wants to start with our beauty routines. She's going to take us through some of her favorite clean, low-waste products that will help us do just that. So we're going to say hi to our green beauty expert, Michelle Bilodeau. Welcome back to the show. Hi, thanks for having me. So I really want to dive in. So I love all of these products because unfortunately, as we know, the beauty industry is a big contributor to our plastic problem in the world. Um, so all of these products are very minimal on the plastic waste front, which is great. And um, I love that you can start kind of easily in your beauty routine by just popping a few of these things in. You don't have to do a complete overhaul, but you can start small by changing up a few little things. Love, love, love. And we're going to start with some body care products. And this first one sounds really, really interesting. It's a waterless body wash concentrate. Tell us all about it. Yeah, so this is a Canadian brand called Everest, and it's the first ever waterless body wash. Um, so body wash usually contains about 70% water as an ingredient. Um, this obviously has none. So what's awesome about it is it has super hydrating ingredients, and you just use this key to place on the end, and you start turning it. It's an aluminum tube. Ooh. You put a pea-sized amount into either your hands on a loofah or a contact sponge, um, and really work it onto your skin for about 30 seconds. And then when you're done with the tube, you get 30 plus washes. When you're done with the tube, it's aluminum, so it can just go into the recycling. And then the cap, the brand will actually take the cap back uh, and the brand will recycle the cap for you. <laughs> I want to use that little thing for my toothpaste too. I mean, yeah, that's that's that great key idea. is ingenious. I love it. Okay, next up, you have a solid moisturizer to tell us about. Take it away. Yeah. So solid moisturizers are kind of taking off right now, which is really cool. And it's great because the packaging for this one especially is all cardboard. So this is a brand called Epic. This uh, stick in particular smells really, really delicious. It has mm. sweet orange and vanilla, and it's super hydrating. It contains cocoa butter and babasu oil. And you just put it on after the shower, kind of on your arms, your legs, wherever you need hydrating, your knees, your elbows. Um, and it goes in really lovely. It smells delicious. If you are able to travel or you do want, or eventually when we're able to travel, you can bring this with you and it doesn't contain any water. Um, if it does happen to soften, all you have to do is put it in the fridge for two to three hours and it'll solidify right up. Guys, it smells like a creamsicle. It's so it's beautiful. So it really does. <laughs> it's, I could eat it. Oh my gosh. But I'm really excited about this next one. It's deodorant. Yeah. And you recommend an eco-friendly swap. Why do you like this one so much? So this is a brand called Birch Babe. Um, it's a smaller indie brand out of Ontario and very similar to the Ethic Body Stick. It comes in all cardboard packaging, which I really love. Um, it doesn't contain aluminum or baking soda. So it's great for people with sensitive underarms. Um, it contains coconut oil, which is super anti-inflammatory and really hydrating, and also kaolin clay, which gives it kind of a smooth finish. Um, it has three different scents to it, or there's a unscented version, which is really great. Um, oh, and yeah, the packaging nice. just can go right into the recycling. I the big love this idea. Mm -hmm. Me too, me too. And I've been on the hunt for a good one for a long time, yeah. but I must admit, I'm having a hard time finding one that actually works. What do you think about yeah. this one? For me, that's fair. Everyone's body chemistry is different. So it really, you've got to kind of play around with natural deodorants, especially. Right now, the, ce the cedar and fir needle one is really working for me. So I'm into it. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we're going to move on to skincare now, and you have a gorgeous essence to fill us in on. Tell us about this. Yeah. So this is a brand called Mifa out of British Columbia. So their vitamin C essence contains a vitamin C complex um, thanks to hibiscus and broccoli. And vitamin C is obviously really great for our skin. It helps with collagen production. Um, this brand is also, or this product in particular is also really great because it comes in a glass bottle. The lid is actually aluminum as well, so it can be recycled. Um, and any cardboard or paper that the brand uses is from FSC certified uh, trees and everything is produced in British Columbia. 
This it smells is so heavenly smelling. Good. I love a spray that I can just, you know, put out in the universe and on me. But I don't know mm -hmm. what the timing is. Like when, when in my beauty routine do I slide in an essence? Well, you can do exactly what you guys are doing now for a pop of hydration during the day. Um, but if you're, you know, when you're cleansing your skin, you would spritz this on your skin after before you apply a serum. Love, love, love. It's so good, Austin. Oh my God. Okay, cleansers often involve excessive packaging, but this balm is pretty minimal in that respect. Tell us what else you like yeah. about it. So this is Youth to the People, uh, their Super Berry Dream uh, Cream Cleanser. I really love it for a bunch of reasons. It's super packed with uh, essential oils. So Moringa, or sorry, hydrating oils like Moringa, um, it also has super berry antioxidants, thanks to acai berry and goji berry. Um, so it's really, really good for the skin. And all of the ingredients really help to break down makeup. So if you're wearing long lasting makeup, this will work really, really well. So you just add a bit with your fingers. And if you have long lasting makeup on, just add a bit of water to the product. So just apply it in a circular motion and it'll turn out into like a milky bit of a texture and that'll really help break down all of the makeup that you're wearing. Um, and I sometimes actually use it when like right now when it's cold outside and I don't even have makeup on because it really leaves the skin with a nice hydrated feeling. Oh, oh great. I never thought to do that. That's a great idea. Um, when you're taking off makeup, inevitably, like we use a lot of cotton pads uh, it, yeah. when we're doing skincare of all kinds. So uh, when, what do you want to, that's why you want us to consider these actually re reusable pads instead. Yeah. Tell us about them. Yeah. So these are super, super soft. They're from Garnier. So available at drugstores, which is awesome. And these are uh, reusable oh. cleansing pads. So use them to take off your lipstick, your eye makeup, any kind of long wear makeup you have on. Um, the brand recommends that you use these with my solar water. Um, and they're really awesome. So after you use, say you're taking off your eye makeup, just quickly rinse it in the sink with a little bit of soap after you're done using it, like every time. Um, and then once a week, just pop it in the laundry for like kind of a deep clean, but these can be used up to a thousand times. So that will really, really cut yeah. down on your cotton pad use. Yeah. Love. Oh my gosh. I'm going to use it like and you in get an three hour. in a package. Yeah. This is so great. Oh my God, I love it. Now we have some low waist hair care to cover too, starting with this adorable little shampoo bar. Yeah, so this is Proudest Pony. This is from a Toronto based uh, hairdresser and they've come up with a few different um, formulas, but they're, they all come in cardboard boxes. So there's no plastic. A lot of shampoos and conditioners obviously come in plastic bottles. So this is a great way to get rid of that from your shower. What I also love is they do travel sizes. So if you wanna test them out before you fully commit to a full bar, that's a really great way to try it out first. I tried it out yesterday and actually really, really like it. Um, so it's a vegan formula. It has plant-based keratin, which we all know is really good for our hair. So it helps strengthen our hair over time and helps reduce breakage. Um, and you just use this in the shower, just suds it up in your hands and put it through your hair um, once or twice, depending on how many times you need it. Ooh. Last but not least, let's talk about this hair oil that made your list today. Yeah, so this is another Canadian brand called Ture. Um, this has eight essential oils in it. So it's super, super hydrating, um, but yet it's not greasy, which I know some people find with hair, like hair oils can be really greasy. Um, mm. What I love about this, again, packaging is glass, so recyclable, but the brand will also take back your bottles. So they'll send you a oh. label when you have five bottles, send them all of the packaging back and they will recycle it. And then they'll send you a 30 mil uh, of this magic drop hair oil. And I use this in a few different ways. Um, so after the shower, you can use it after you've shampooed and conditioned um, before you heat style. So that will help kind of protect the hair from any heat styling or, and, or you can use it after heat styling to kind of amp up shine and hydration. And it really helps with flyaways and split ends. And again, over time, it will strengthen your hair. Michelle, thank you so much for taking us through these amazing products today. You're welcome. For a recap, make sure you check out our social media pages after the show. But for now, stick around because we're going to be right back.